the most common problems that I see is the energy that we're putting onto our horses and ponies. So when I get a rider coming to me to improve their confidence on ridden work, quite often we go back a level and we look at what it's that they're not scared of doing. So we look at their walk if they're scared of going into trot or their trot if they're scared of going into canter. And either I'll go and watch them or they will send me a video of this. And quite often you can see and pinpoint where it's all going wrong. And it's all about that energy. So not only do we work through our own blocks and understand why our own blocks are there around riding, where our confidence and our unconfidence comes from, how our subconscious is sabotaging our riding and how we can fix that. We also show you the exact point at which you can see where it all goes wrong. And I'm going to show you in a minute. So quite often we sit how we feel quite relaxed you know we will often sit and sing silly songs on our horses if our instructors have told us to and all those sorts of things to regulate our breathing but our energy inside can still be quite high and these show it so what you are going to see in a moment is how a very slight movement can alter your pony and how just gripping that a little bit too tightly on the reins because you're anxious of what you're going to be doing next can really affect them they pick up on energy. Think about when you arrive at your yard and they hear your footsteps. They can pick up on your energy and hear your footsteps coming into the yard and they know. If you're having a bad day, think about how they react compared to when you go in in a really good mood. They are very sensitive, very emotional creatures that are very energy based. They're also very, very sensitive with their feeling. So if you think about it, they can feel the fly land on them. So why do you need to be moving them so harshly? Why do you need to be gripping so tightly on the reins? It's purely because of our emotional needs and our own work that we have to go through. It's all about our energy and our problems. And sometimes we put those onto our horses and our ponies without realising. And that's what causes the problems. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So a tiniest movement on the reins causes the pony's head to turn. We don't need, we don't need a lot pressure I am hardly touching the reins so you can imagine when we have our reins and we are being very tense with them even the slightest bit of pressure I'm hardly holding that rein you can already see I move it back a little bit you can already see how the slightest bit of pressure and she's pulling on that and I'm not pulling the rein I am just applying, she's ready for a closer, I'm just applying a lot of pressure as though I'm anxious. And you can see how she's moving, how she's moving her head, and she's already sort of ears back, not very happy. Yeah, if I relax that pressure, and my hands loose on her rein, when she's not rubbing on me, my hands loose on her rein, her ears are up, she's much happier. She's a much happier pony, she's looking around, she's a lot more relaxed. But the minute I put the pressure back on, um, all I'm doing is gripping the rein tightly. She's trying to evade that pressure. So you can see very quickly how even in walk, the amount of pressure that you're putting through the reins, even when you're just gripping it tightly, can already put that pressure on when you go into another gate. If you recognise this in yourself, drop me a message, comment below, because I would love to help you out with your own ridden confidence or even your confidence on the ground to help build that bond and build that partnership.